Johnson, you, 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 give me evidence. Give me evidence. Do you believe Paul wrote it? You know how a debate works. You give a claim, I ask for evidence. You made a claim. You said Paul did not write Hebrews. That's your claim. Well, no, unfortunately, no, it's not. Unfortunately, no, it's not. I'll tell you why it's not. Who else made that claim? Anyone? No, I know you are, but you're li like you're literally saying you didn't. Go, go back to the point. Okay. If you listen, yeah, you were bringing evidence of what Paul said, and you brought a letter from Paul, which, according to church history, isn't written by Paul. Give me that evidence. Give me that evidence. Give me the church history that doesn't write anything that says it. Yeah, just Google it. Why, why try and be like? We'll see what church. Yeah. Um, Find me definitively. Yeah. So you remind me who says who says. Okay, I won't find Hebrews. Hebrews but, written by Paul. Uh, Do you believe it is? Can no you find me your evidence it. first? Do you believe it's written by Paul? Find, I, I, find I don't, I, I don't no, find no, any no, evidence no, that no, it's no, not. It as if it's Paul. I do don't find Paul? evidence that it's not. That's my answer. Is? Do you believe it is? Well, I don't find evidence that it do is not. It is, then? I've answered you. Do you have evidence that it is? I've answered you. Do you have evidence that it is? I can look for something, but I'm not going to be distracted. I'm not going to be distracted. Because you're wrong. You're in error. You're trying to teach Christianity. We don't know who the witness is. I'm still trying to answer your first question. He doesn't want me to answer it. Is it me? Is anyone else witnessing this? Excellent. I'm so pleased. Right, you stop speaking while you use your Google. 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 I'm not. I'm giving you, you the Bible. You I'm giving you the Holy no, Spirit. You the Holy Spirit no, authored not. the Bible. The Holy Spirit doesn't exist. Okay. Please don't do that. That's embarrassing. Again, the Holy That's Spirit embarrassing. It's in the Quran. It doesn't exist. The Holy Spirit Forget is in the, the Quran. Quran. Forget the, the Quran. Spirit I'd love to. I'd love it, to. It, no, I can't. It's taking people to hell. No, it won't help me. It'll never help me. Do you want me to call who says that it's written by Paul? Yes, please. All right. So this is coming. No, no, no. You want is some evidence. Go for it. The 300 AD, you say this in writing about and quoting the very early 100 AD Clement of Alexandria, 150 to 250 AD, he writes. He, Clement, says that the epistle to Hebrews, see, the, history, the epistle to Hebrews is the work of Paul and that is written to the Hebrews in the Hebrew language. But like Luke translated it carefully and published it for the Greeks and hence the same style of expression is found in the epistle to Hebrews in the Acts written by Luke. You say this church history six fourteen. So so okay. So what you're saying is from you that say one, this is quoted. What's, what's you gave church history as your what's evidence, and he's just giving you church history. I'm just giving church history. First thing, first thing. If you want to bring the church fathers to the table, we can. No, you did. Case, you did. You did. Okay. You did. You did. did. You did. Please stop misrepresenting. It's embarrassing. Bring a church father. You said I asked him. You said to me church history. No, you didn't. Just rewind. Anyone? Press rewind. He said church history. You say this claim. What discipline are we involved in here? No, 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 no. If you listen to the question, I'll make it easy for you. We're doing higher criticism. Why are we doing higher criticism? Why are we doing? You can't even stick to what you said a second ago. Do you know what higher criticism is? Do you know what, like, uh, no, red you? herrings and straw men are? Do you know? Do you? If you? Do you know or not? He's doing a hashim. Do he doesn't know oh, what he's, he's saying. saying. <laughs> do you know what higher criticism is? Because you just said, why are we talking about higher criticism? Like, you know Galatians what higher criticism five, is? Four, no. Do you know what higher criticism right. is? Do you know what higher criticism is? I mean, first of all, it's You don't know what the conversation's about because you want to hear it again. Anyway, do you know what higher criticism is? I heard you change topic. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. You guys are talking about No, my mics are all on. I've no, I've no clue. I'm supposed to be streaming. I just walked in. Oh, no. Jude. So can you refute? You say this is claim. Uh, uh, Clement uh, uh, okay, said okay. that the history of Paul uh, is written. Okay, there's two things I can do. Oh, there's two written, things I can do. There's that two means. things I can do. One, I can demonstrate Eusebius is not a reliable source of information. I can do that, no problem. Okay. Second thing. That I doesn't mean that claim itself is unreliable. Well, if, he, if he's reliable, unreliable, how can his claim? No, it's not a deep science. Among scholars like Ibn Abbas, who claims that the whole Earth is don't underneath an element. Don't worry about Ibn Abbas. Don't worry about Islam. I'll say it to you again. I'll say Islam. the two things I'm going to do to you. He's already said that's forget that's the Quran. That's, that's the sound bite. Boom. Don't worry about the Quran. The first thing is Ibn Abbas. The first thing I'm doing. If I can find one thing where he is unreliable, then you're bluffing. So you do believe that the Earth is literally a top. Hey, where the Paul was preaching to Do you Jews. believe in that? Is this this wrong? Uh, uh, okay. Are you Terry Pratt? I'll say it again to you. The Don't conversation <laughs> is about whether Paul was preaching something to the There we go. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. If you're in Christ. There you go. That's his evidence.
I've already demonstrated that you've got on camera, we've got it filmed. Oh, okay, I'll say it to you again. No if anyone is in Christ, he's a new I'll, I'll creation. creation. I'll say to you again. I'll prove to you right now you don't know what you're talking about. The conversation If you observe the law, you're cursed. Two occasions, you don't know what you're talking about. And this is the third time I'll do it today. Yeah, yeah, saying I don't know what I'm talking about. First thing, you know what higher criticism is? You don't even understand why we're talking about what's, this. What's the point? What, yeah. What's the point of You should shh, kill adults. The claim is. Adults are talking. That's funny because to me, you're like a no. Go away, babe. It's too hot. It's too hot. It's too hot. No. I read you say this is claiming. Troll someone else. Go and troll someone else. Why are you quoting me saying this? Why yeah, even your brother's you telling you. Don't, don't, Why are you quoting you saying this? Because it's early, it's early in the most controversial. What's that going to do with high criticism? And the question was, can you show where in is early is that in the early... Let me put you out your yeah. misery. Let me put you out your misery. Where somebody says, down. that's let me one. Put out your misery. Hebrews down. wasn't leave written leave him, leave him, leave by Paul. Can you show that in early Christians what they're like? Okay. <laughs> all, he can, all he can do is insult. It's embarrassing. Higher criticism doesn't involve ad hominem. I'm just throwing no, it out there. Of course it doesn't. That's well, he's going to call me a gnome. What are you talking about? I mean, but you are a right. gnome. There you go. There you go. He's insulting Terry Pratchett as well. Double standards are Christians. We know that. I didn't hear him say it. There's no double standard in that. I didn't hear him. I didn't hear him. What ad hominem did I use? You just said, I'm going to show these. what are these Christians are like. How's that because you're inferring that Christian, these Christians are something other than like genuine or understanding. Well, 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 about, it's quite about, arrogant, but that's just my opinion. You can't, you can't, can't help your own arrogance. I can't help your poor Pride, pride and arrogance. That is also ad hom. That's also ad hom. Are you mad? Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Have I'm you been let out for the day? Is it yeah, medication yeah, time? Is that, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm asking you, you a the question. You what the argument? You literally just did that. What before. argument? I tell you the argument. Darren, you I'll have tell you the misrepresented what I've said. You've ignored the scripture. Please do. Please. Okay. First thing, we're dealing with him. No, no. First thing, we're dealing with me and Billy. No, you're not. No, not. You deal with all of you. Deal with all of you. Well, well, let's, you let's, expose him. let's talk about John 17. Well, expose him first. well then do that first so while I just don't give first. don't care. Let's expose you first. No, no, let's go back to the topic. I've got a live stream to do, so if you could just ask in Christ. In Christ. Neither Jew nor Gentile in Christ. That's the point. You claimed on life. Write a list. Write a list. No, I don't want to write a list. I have things to do. How can I how can I make my point? I know you're small minded. Oh, okay, I'll say it again to you. If you be quiet, I'll talk about John 17. Okay. Because you claimed online that John 73 can you speak proves to this guy? that a father alone is... No, no, you're doing an excellent job of trying to inflame people. Excellent, well done. In Christ, there is neither... John, 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 John. In Christ, in Christ there's neither Jew nor Gentile. Yes, they are everywhere. More than two point... How two billion. Third time is when they go to John 73. Let's demonstrate. No, 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 yeah, no, we'll, no, go we'll go to that. We'll go to that. We'll go to that. Let's go to John 73 because you've already. No, we're not going to go to it yet, though. You run away oh, from what? Oh, okay. So what let's go to John 73 right okay. now. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. First thing. Let's do that. We're not going to ignore. Someone needs to hold into an account. I'm going to hijack the conversation. You literally just run away from case. No, no. Okay. Can you just shut up for five minutes? Run away from case. Okay. Let's explain it. It's got some anti trainers. Let's explain it. You want to go back? I know you want to get out the ring. I know you want to get out the ring. You want to attack Kay. We know what ring. We know that. What ring? We know that. It's a bit fleshy. You're on the floor. You're on the floor. Kid, come in, in! Come on in! There's a teacher coming, everyone! Everyone, there's a teacher coming! He's out of bed again, nurse! I'll, I'll okay. you but now you want to be sick. No, I can't. You, can't you just had you a massive childish you moment. Speak. You are you? Do you go on like this in real life? No. It's evident that you are ignorant beyond How belief. You know I'm not speak? Because I can hear you mocking you him in a high pitched women. I'm not afraid. Why do you assume my motivation? I couldn't be afraid of you if I tried. Because I'd like a turn. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. In Christ, there is neither Jew nor okay. Gentile, male or female, slave or free. He's still speaking because he doesn't care. The truth is not in him. So, the point of this verse is not to say there are no more Jews, there are no more Gentiles, or there are no more male or females, because obviously we're all not, we're not talking about transgenderism either. Also, he says there's no neither slave nor free, but yet there were slaves and there were free people. But in Christ, he says, meaning hierarchically, 
There is now no distinction between a Jew and a Gentile in Christ, between a slave and a free man in Christ, between a male and a female in Christ. So we don't have to submit ourselves by means of gender or former religion. Christians. Not Jews. <laughs> Anywho, in Christ is the part that he cannot reconcile because he wants the argument to be that Paul is telling Jews, don't be Jews anymore. No, he agrees with me. Billy, do you agree with You that? asked me about all I'm Jews. So her. you've changed. I'm listening to oh, right, so I'm just still paying for the crowd. I'm so just so I understand. I'm listening to well, her. Is all the guys talking to the crowd. the crowd. I'm talking to the people I'm speaking to. to you. I'm waiting to well, speak about John Tenzing. Anyway, I gave the reputation. He can't answer it. I'm waiting to speak about John Tenzing. Why are you not talking to you? This is a big joke to you. But we are standing between life and death. I'm still running away from John Tenzing. Look at him ignoring Billy. I know. Oh. You're just being very egotistical. Do you have any Very respect powerful, for him just by means of his age? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. He's talking to you so, so and your head is away and you're mocking. Yes, no, not to Billy, away from Billy. I'm, from Billy. Billy. I'm saying Before just now. Said. What did he just Before say? What did he just he's say? To you. He said we stand between life and death. You didn't hear him because you were too busy over that way. So, the so, camera's oh, picked so it right. up. Too busy listening to him shouting at me. Yeah, you're right. You so, yeah, because you look like you take on board a lot of stuff. Well, you know why? Because you don't shout. We're talking about John 75. You have to shout with you guys. You're embarrassing. You're embarrassing. Can you be quiet for two minutes? I don't shout up for anybody. Can you be quiet for two minutes? 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 And your little online post. Can you be quiet for two minutes? Why don't you take your own advice and let him finish and then get have your time? I have another chance. I just was silent. Before you're I ranting, said that, I'm oh, sorry, Doctor. I didn't realize your uh, <laughs> analytical you're gonna let me speak there. You're gonna let me speak. Oh. Gonna you let me haven't speak. stopped. If I let him carry on, can I speak afterwards? That's what I just suggested. Yes. So maybe yeah. something went into his ears. Right. Can I speak? Brilliant. Oh. Brilliant. Keep Billy out of it. Oh, oh, you started this. You started the fight. You ain't going nowhere. The conversation on John 73, as I've said before. Right. So can I talk again? It's a big joke. Stay on topic. Right, 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 right. Would you like some more water, Billy? You're speaking to John at the moment. Would you like some water? More like cold water. Cold water. It's on John 73. Okay. No, it's not your agenda. Okay, so it's not on John 73. So he's running away from his own time. Right, right, right. He claims hey, let me speak. little short video let me speak. that John 73 did let him speak. Bro. What's oh, the point speak. in allowing oh, him to go oh, way off topic oh, again? Oh, he's got yes, off topic. Oh, yeah, Wasn't he 73? For John so loved, uh, for God so loved the world that he sent his only son. The world, meaning neither Jew nor Gentile. That is John 17. Oh, no, sorry, the only true God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What's that got to do with our conversation? Nothing. Let him finish and you might find out. No, you know we're not talking about keep running away from it. I do, yeah. Yeah. Don't want to right, right. So let me deal with this conversation. You wanted evidence that the law let is obsolete. With, let me deal with this conversation Don't want to experience Christian though. The bunk is stupid. Are you oh shaking? God, you made your stupid TikTok video. Relax, relax. You might as well just relax, be relax. shaking your ass I'm here all day. Because it means nothing anyway. Listen, I, mean, I promise you. I promise you right now. You, you might as well have done a TikTok I promise video you right now. shaking your ass. I promise that would have been right more now. popular than any other video I've ever made. You've not made any video of substance at all. I promise you. Be quiet. I promise you right now, I'll deal with this full issue and then I'll deal with your 17. Which one? He's got it. He has it. Shut up, bro. Because I can rinse all your talk. I can rinse all your talk. Do you want to talk? Right. So, so the conversation between you and her, right? Right. So the conversation between me and Kate. Right. Go on. No, sorry. Let's let's rewind because it's all on camera from the beginning, so no problem. So the conversation started with Billy. Keep me out of it. And the question. No. He doesn't respect what you're saying, Billy. I want to hear the gospel. You started the fight. You don't know it. Billy, you started the fight. The good news, the glad tidings. Well, then you want to throw in the towel, don't you? Look at the difference in, like, gravitas. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me. For someone who keeps saying people can't shut up, let finish what he's saying. Which he gave me to do. And when Jesus was on the cross, he said, it is finished. Not I am finished. It is finished. The one who Go on, Bill. given him to do to put away sin what does that have to do by with the conversation? sacrifice of himself. Why is Kate so and excited? you know the truth because I'm saved. up here, but you don't want it in your heart. All right, all right. I've, I'm said all I'm gonna say. Good man. Good man. I preach the right, gospel right. that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Amen. That whosoever believeth in Him you are should not perish but have everlasting life. Boom. Boom. He said to Nicodemus, "Except a man be born again, he cannot see or enter the kingdom of God." Okay. Nicodemus, the ruler of the Jews, said this. How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. 
marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Amen. And that's what needs to happen to you. Oh, amen. And everyone who's not right. That's what I'm preaching, and I've preached it for years. Almost. And I don't take back a word of what I've said to you. You're a hell-deserving sinner. Amen. Tell me. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Right, Billy. Oh. Now he's going. He said that's his final oh, okay. words. Are you well, up? Billy, no, just for the I'm audience of the crowds, right? Preach, preach, Me and Billy started yeah. this conversation. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. And a question I'm I'm hell or salvation? Quite, yeah. Quite, 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 you want to critique his what he wants to say? Okay. The conversation I had with Billy was about the reliability of Paul, and I asked Billy a question. I said to Billy. Was Paul teaching Jews they no longer need to observe the laws of Moses? And Paul and Billy's For response salvation. was, and Billy's response was, of course he was, of course he was. So Billy, do you take that back or no. do you stand by it? No, you stand by it. He wasn't stand teaching by all it. Jews. Good man. Good man. Good man. All right, good man. Then Kay came along. Yep. Without and, hearing and I asked that, Kay sorry. The same question. Yeah. And she said, no, he wasn't. Not all Jews is what I meant. So Kay I'm had afraid. a dispute with Billy. No, I didn't. I didn't. Then K tried to differentiate Christian Jews from Jews. Obviously, because Paul does. Do Christian Jews observe the law? No. Right, so they're not Jews. They okay. are Jews. They're you right. don't well, know what a bloodline is. Why would you tell people? You think you come oh, from right. Ishmael, but right. you don't know what a bloodline is. is. The law saves them. No, I don't want to, no. You're not because you're misrepresenting you're not my position. Tell because me your position. my position is this. Whomever Paul writes to in the seven churches are Christians. Christian. Did you hear what I said? You did yes. it, did you? You said Paul was teaching to people in Galatians who were Christians. No, I didn't mention Galatians this time. I said all the seven churches, we can right. presuppose and we know because he, he tells them they are already in Christ. Whether they started off as a Jew or started off as a Gentile. So whomever is like identifies as it were or is a Jew within those audiences is not a Sabbath keeping, non poor keeping. They may be because at the beginning there were some discrepancies as to do we keep all of this stuff yes, and do we right. adopt all the love? Do we keep all this stuff and bring it in graft all these Gentiles? But what Paul and what the Holy Spirit is saying is that if now you are in Christ, you try to keep the law, not for its own, you can keep it, but if you do it as a way to circumvent Christ's atonement, you're embarrassing. Sure you will be severed from Christ, which is far more serious. And you, you know, maybe you can be brought back to repentance and done the way. Now that's the Bible. That's your position. Oh, geez. yeah. It's too hot uh, for uh, this, uh, mate. Uh, uh, okay. So, just so I understand, do you need to tell people who are not observing the law they don't need to observe the law? There's no, no. not about people. Why would people be doing it? Okay. Why would it be people Where now? Are you to? Would you be speaking Jews who have come to Christ? Who are following the law? If no, it's, it's very specific. If they keep it in order to circumvent Christ's that's atonement, what it, says. it does. And then right, you hit, you are right. severed so from the law. The if you are circumcised, one second, one second. it says it. I'll explain to you. So what you, this, is, this is this is John John. Look, look, if you want me to read John seventeen, Galatians five four. It's from the book he's trying to use to attack. Smash you. What age group is this going out to? We I'm going to annihilate the season. On annihilate! We've got smashing and annihilating. Is anyone over 12? But I'm not going to do it. Sorry, no offence to any 11-year-olds. I'm not going to do it if you don't shut up. Whoa! Oh, well, Will you sleep tonight? Will you sleep tonight? Oh, shut up. I will not make debate you. Me. You're not going to debate oh, something. Seventeen three. If you're going to run for one time, yes. You're going to run for one. Yes. Okay. Then run. No, 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 no. I'm run. not going to waste my time run. with you. Run if you want to run. No, don't listen to my friend. Okay. I'll say it again to you, John. John, John, John. John. You want to run in it? John, John, John. Sorry, I'm everybody late, everybody, but I've been I'm listening to, to Darren talking absolute swaddle. Yeah. So everybody knows I'm not running. It'll be on so far. I'm milking. He just shuts his mouth right yeah. now. You can see he's being that's really that's polite. That's the that's weather's that's not, that's not that's getting that's to him at all. Make a shout, I don't care. I'm okay to go first. I think we should watch that water, babe. Shut your mouth. I'll give you your water. Don't talk to me. Keep up. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Are you going to shut your mouth? Why are you being aggressive? Why is the language so like. Speak to your Christian friend. You're not in a pub. But you're not in a pub. Speak to your Christian. What are you going to do? Talk to your Christian friend about being aggressive. Are you going to stop? Should I? All I can hear is you. Stop this double standard. All I can hear is you. I do have double standards. I know you're a liar. I do have. I know you've got double standards. You're a Christian. Of course you have double standards. The Bible tells me that those in the family. The Bible tells me. Tells me that those in the family of faith we should give uh, special consideration. But I can't hear him because all I can hear is this white noise. 
So what well, this, this did then now, Kay took us to the book of Hebrews, yes? Uh, Galatians. No, yeah, Hebrews first, and then you right. started questioning Paul, no, so we'll no, go for Galatians. So you brought Hebrews to the table. I did say it, Galatians also, but I said there's another verse, I can't remember it, and it is Galatians 5.4. No, but you brought book of Hebrews. I did initially, yes, you're correct. Are, are you and then you, def well, no, but you deflected. Do you believe? I'm going to say the Holy Spirit authored the entire Bible, so we don't worry about who had the pen. Let's just stick with a verse because it's in the Bible and it's valid for me. Oh, that doesn't fit in with your argument. I'll tell you what I'll do, Kate. I'll tell you what I'll do, Kate, because I'm such a charitable guy. <laughs> and I will come to this park often. I'll demolish his 17.3 first uh -huh. and then I'll demolish your reliability of the New Testament. No Excellent. problem. Excellent. I don't mind. Excellent. Take a ticket. Yeah, take that, take that. Take a yeah. ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're an embarrassment. No I've watched you before you just and it was all quite the Bible's quindy. inspired by the Holy Spirit. So yeah. I'll deal with that claim. No sure. But you won't do it now. You want to start oh, being no, no, macho no. and posturing with John. Paul first. Excellent. Go Mash your Paul first. Then mash my Paul, well, you mean the one that Allah very first? I'm not mash yeah, anything. I'm going to mash them, your 17. I've got to get out of here. I'm going to mash your reliability. You're, 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 you're not going to mash okay. anything because you're not no, in East okay. London in a pub. You don't know anything you about me. You're going to tell me where you're going. Watch me sort out. I'm going to educate you. You're in bad. I thought you was waiting for me. I'm coming back in when you are finished with him because you're going to smash him. No, you said him first. He can't even get the order of events in sequence. No, let's deal with in Christ. You heard testing the reliability of the New Testament. Uh, mate, mate, where are you going? Can Keep we just make that the camera's out there for a minute? Let's stay our point. Listen to Let's me, you point. absolute tard. Can you hear point. what I'm saying? Do you speak turn English? Birds in the Listen, I'll no. say it again to you. Anyway, so what he's doing <laughs> is saying he's going to smash it. Bye bye. Bye bye, Kate. Bye bye, Kate. Are you going to gonna deal with it or not? I'm going to deal with what I want to deal with, which is what you first which is brought what, Let's up. deal with it then. In Christ, I you were going. because you said you can't keep up with your own twaddle. Right, so you say? said you're going to smash him first, and you did it. Anyone who's got a rewind button, please, for the sake of my sanity. He's so loud that there's no way nobody heard it. I don't. I couldn't even care at this stage. Everybody witnessed that I said I would give him his debate if he shuts up while I deal with you. I know, and then after that, after that, when you were mad. Bruv, when you are mashing fam, hear what fam, when you are mashing him up. What I didn't say was I'll deal with him first. Excellent, excellent, excellent. deal with you first. Excellent, do it then. Right, right, right. Jeez. Yeah, right, so let's deal with you. Please, God. Any time you like, mate. Can you feel the temperature? Oh, he's running now. Are you aware? Just pay attention to the crowd. Just his obnoxious behavior. I'm going to give you honor. I'm going to give you honor. You're not going to honor your words. This guy does not say to me he's going to school. Already been exposed John today. 73. Mash. Mash me apparently. Already been schooled. But he's not done already it. I've stood with the Bible for at least 30 today. minutes. In you Christ, neither do not gentile. This is how Christians so think they win in Christ. Because you lost this debate. Come somewhere quieter. Oi, Darren. Darren. Come somewhere quieter. Why is Darren? Come somewhere quieter. Come somewhere quieter. Because then you don't oh, have to Darren. be playing it up oh, like a no, big no, no, man. You're the, one, you're, you're, the, you're the one talking to the crowd. Because oh, no, you're not no, listening no, to a word. I'm talking to you, I'm talking in to him, and you're talking Jesus, to the crowd. In Jesus, there is neither Jew nor Gentile. They're not talking in Jesus, to me. answer it. Okay. Just answer You're it. the one talking to the crowd. Oh. This was from 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know why it's taking 20 minutes. He said he's going to come to me first. Allegedly, he said he's going to come to me first. But thanks for your input. That's really clarified it. That's what I'm saying. God is the Father. Ask one person here to show me. Because your guy cannot do it. Christians, Christians are reading your scripture to respect your scripture, please. Uh, <laughs> is that John 7 3? So, this is Galatians 3 5 10. 4. All oh. who rely on observing the law are under a curse, for it is written. Curse is everyone who Amen. does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Yes. Clearly, no one is justified before God by the law because the righteous will live by faith. The law is not based on faith. On the, on the contrary, the man who does these Works. things will live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law mm -hmm. by becoming a curse us, for the us. Christians. Yep. It, one second. For it is written. Hot, Rory. Well, Paul's a Jew. Anyway. He's a Christian. He's a Jew. He's a Jewish Christian. He's a Jew. Jews and ethnicity. You don't know what you're talking about. He's a Jew. <laughs> you're an idiot. How about that? He's, He's a, a Jew. Jewish Christian. He's a Jew. You think he hasn't accepted Christ? Saul was a Jew. So just so I understand, was Paul observing the Torah before his visit on when the road When he was to Saul, you mean? On the he road wasn't to Paul then. I know, he was Saul of Tarsus. Well then, Saul was a Jew. Was he practicing? Saul. Was he practicing? 
uh, the mosaic law before he went on the road to No Damascus. one called Paul with that appearance yeah. was, was appearing that. Was there was, was a man Paul called Paul Saul. Saul. Said Saul of Tarsus. Okay. So was Saul now was is your question? Yes, yes, Saul was. was he yes. On the road to yes. So he was. Big in the Jewish game. His, wow. Right. And then after his visitation on the road to Damascus. Yes, he became Paul. He gave up the mosaic law. He, uh, no, he began refining it to uh, conform his thoughts to the image of Christ did he give up the Mosaic by the power law? of the Holy did Spirit did he keep the Sabbath after that did he keep the dietary laws after that did no he no he didn't so we know he gave up the law as a Jew he didn't yes. give it up it was fulfilled well, in Christ uh, okay. I'm quoting right, you the Bible please don't yeah, laugh no, you're an embarrassment I'm going to quote you the Bible I'm going to quote you your disciples but I'm quoting you it why do you rely on it when you quote it but when I quote it it's no refutation oh please do you understand how this works yes sure I'm thinking what you're Christ thinking, Bill? Yeah, yeah, he is smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But there's people watching who might learn something. There's people watching who might learn something. Okay. Billy's on my side. That's not a compliment. You're on your side. You agree with me, Sam? Just lying for the sake of lying. He's actually a good guy. You're on the devil's side. Amen. He's on camera. He said, I asked him that same question. But he's talking about within the context. When I walked along, you didn't give me the context. You just said Jews. You don't I see said, a distinction, I, I, but now you're drawing a distinction I, I, between Saul and Paul. Well, oh, okay. So you're drawing the distinction you pretended not to be able to see. Get to the point, mate. Now get to the point. Get to the point. That's up. Did Paul teach, the question was a very simple one. To the churches. Paul teach Jews, they no longer need to observe. The ones the in the churches he wrote to, yes. yes. Yeah, he didn't uh, write to the, the uh, yes. Sanhedrin. And the he didn't yes. tell the Pharisees the not to. Yes. No, the so answer is nuance. There wasn't one type of Jew. There were many types he of He didn't Jews. tell the Jews Pharisees don't Christians. observe the law. Do you not understand what I'm saying? Oh I'm glad you think it's funny. I mean, I've already schooled the You're going to burn. You cannot hear yourself. I can hear myself. Yes. I was saying, do you not hear yourself? I've not heard yourself at all. No one is justified before oh, he makes you by feel the law. Because the righteous will live by faith. Yeah. What book is it? Galatians? So who's he writing to? Let's just have a check at your knowledge. Uh, the foolish 